gentle touch in the golden sunlight she was born to love kiss our tears away vanish all our fears fill the world with joy she's the woman of the earth spreading love and joy fun and Your dreams take away over skies so blue. She will save the earth and its every glory. She will teach her child. gentle touch in the golden sunlight she was born to love kiss our tears away vanish all our fears fill the world with joy she's the woman of the earth spreading love and joy fun and laughter
Woman of 
touch in the golden sunlight. She was born to love, kiss our tears away, vanish all our fears, fill the world with joy. She's the woman of the earth, spreading love and joy, fun and laughter. Woman of the earth, making miracles forever after. Loving, caring, working, sharing, teaching, singing, mothering. See your loving glow. Watch your dreams take away over sky so blue. She will save the earth and its every glory. She will teach her child every golden story. Gentle touch in the golden sunlight. She was born to love. Kiss our tears away. Vanish all our fears. Fill the world with joy. She's the woman of the earth. Spreading love and joy. Fun and laughter.
This is the Miss Philippines Earth 2024 media presentation live at Lime Resort, Manila. And here are your Miss Earth, Miss Philippines Earth 2023 queens. Ecotourism, Athena Auxilio. <laughs> Miss Philippines Fires, Sheree Livori. Miss Philippines Water, Jemima Stabalia. Feel her gentle touch in the golden sunlight. She was born to love. Kiss our tears away. Vanish all our fears. Fill the world with joy. Miss Philippines Air, Carrie Riley. Miss Philippines Earth 2023 and Miss Earth Air 2023, Ilana Marie Aduana. See her loving glow in a blush flower. Watch her dreams take away over sky so blue. She will save the earth. Good morning to all our friends from the media. We're glad you could join us today despite the heat and the traffic. But we promise to provide you with a breath of fresh air as we present young and vibrant delegates of Miss Philippines Earth 2024. That is right, and we're very, very glad to be back on this very same stage, right, ladies? And even more so, we are so much excited to see 
a new set of ladies, beautiful ladies who will take our place to continue the Miss Philippines Earth legacy. Speaking of legacy, this year's Miss Philippines Earth highlights the country's rich heritage as part of championing environmental conservation. That is right, Jemima, and it will be definitely an experience for the delegates that will be able to promote the culture and the heritage of the Philippines. And also, they will be given a chance to travel to different places here in the Philippines to see our diverse culture firsthand. But for today, you'll have the opportunity to meet the delegates up close. And I'm really excited because it is also going to be my first time to meet all the delegates today in person. And now, to make those fearless, car uh, to make those fearless forecasts, that will be your jobs for today. And don't forget to vote for your favorites because at the end of today's press presentation, the darling of the media, actually three darlings of the media will be named today. So that will be really exciting. Before we bring out the delegates, allow us first to thank, to thank some people for making Miss Philippines Earth possible. Let's welcome first the sales and marketing officer of Lime Hotels and Resorts Manila, Mrs. Benny Herlock. She will teach her child every golden story. She's um, good morning, everyone. It is with great pleasure and honor that we welcome you back here at Lime Beach Club in Lime Resort, Manila. Today, we come together not only to celebrate beauty, but also to honor dedicated advocates for our Earth's well-being. We at Lime Hotels and Resort is committed to stand alongside Miss Philippines Earth in its mission of promoting environmental awareness and conservation. Thank you and welcome Miss Philippine Earth, Miss Philippines Earth to Lime Resort, Manila. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much for that, Miss Benny. And of course, we would like to take this moment to thank our major sponsor, Hannah Shampoo. Flaunt your beautiful looking hair made possible by Hannah Shampoo with Collagen Plus. And of course, we'd also like to thank our environmental sponsors, the Office of the Legislative Representative Jose Manuel Alba of District 1, Bakidnon the Provincial Governor of Bukidnon, Governor Rogelio Nil Roque. Our Environmental Mayors, Mayor Verjito Factora from the Municipality of Talacad and our host venue. We would also like to thank the Office of Senator Lauren Legarda and Office of Antique and Long District Representative A.A. Legarda for the MPE Delegates Heritage and Environmental Tour on April 20 to 21 in Antique. Honorable Mayor Jose Ivan Dayan Agda of Lungsod ng Borongan, Silangan, Samor for the Beachwear Competition on April 22 to 2025. We also would like to thank Mayor Joy Perales from Toledo City for the Long Gown Competition on April 27 and we would like to see you all there. Of course, Mayor Gary Casino from Malitbog, Bukidnon, where our swimsuit competition will be held on May 4. Mayor Frederick Chow from Iligan City for the talent competition, which will be held on May 5. We hope to see you all there. And in just a short while, you'll see the delegates in their swimsuits designed by none other than Mr. Ricky Abad with matching Tresha accessories from our eco-advocacy partner, Alpha Distinct Development Solutions. And I'm super... <laughs> All right, I know that everyone is really excited, so take it away, Jemima. Yes, and it's very exciting because the pendants worn by the delegates are made uh, from 100% recycled plastic bottle caps to signify our commitment to reducing plastic waste and marine litter. And that's a real treasure for you, treasure from trash. Definitely, like trash to treasure, right, Jim? Yes. <laughs> and that sounds really promising. And so without further ado, get your cameras ready as we make way for the first batch of Miss Philippines Earth 2024. She's the woman of the earth.
a Borland Palawan, Reyna Ruhen. Reina Michelle Ubani Ruhan is a 24 year old stunner, stands 5 foot and 9 inches, a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, a youth leader, humanitarian volunteer, worked with Red Cross Youth Palawan and the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary, a basketball player, and a young policymaker, and elected Sangguniang Kabataan chairperson in their community. Magayang Aldao Katimyong Mwasa. I am Reina Michelle Obani Ruhen from the heartland of the Katutubong Taguanawas and the last ecological frontier, the gateway to the southern part of Palawan, the municipality of Aborlan. A beauty queen must not only possess charm and beauty, but also she must have the heart to serve. And I am aiming to be that beauty queen. A beauty queen who will serve the people and of the earth through empowering our indigenous people and our cultural and our cultural communities for the preservation and conservation of our mother earth. Thank you. touch in the golden sunlight she was born to love from Aglipay Quirino Jonalyn Balauro she's a devout Quirinian who is here to support the preservation of the environment and culture in a humble manner Quirino, which is recognized as the Cagayan Valley's forest center has beautiful natural surroundings to its advantage rock formations, immaculate waterfalls Regal Caves, Landingan, and numerous exceptional locations have all been protected, all thanks to the backing of the government. As a Miss Philippines Earth Delegate, she advocates for the preservation of nature and culture, and she cordially invites everyone to join her in this cause. Naimbaga bigat tayo amin! I am Jonalyn Banihan Balauro from the Forest Heartland of Cagayan Valley, Municipality of Aglipay, Province of Quirino. My humble province is well known for its yearly Panagdadapon Festival, which celebrates the different cultures in its municipality. And now, I'm encouraging everyone to join me in my cause. Appreciation the beauty of nature, and the richness of cultural diversity by instilling a sense of stewardship and responsibility we can ensure that our children will inherit a world that is healthy vibrant and resilient agiyamanak <laughs> Oriental Mindoro, Samantha Dana Bucos. Passionate about marine life preservation and heritage, she is dedicated to safeguarding our oceans for future generations. In order to have a commitment to environmental stewardship and protect our marine spaces to give the next generation the inheritance of a better place to live in. My name 
Miss Samantha Dana Bogos, your Miss Philippines Earth 2024 from Baco, Oriental Mindoro. From the vibrant coral reefs to the majestic creatures of the ocean, each story tells a wave of our future heritage. Join me in my journey as I promote the preservation of the wonders of our marine heritage. Thank you. pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management and advocating for sustainable tourism and cultural promotion, she finds that the San Luis Obispo Church holds immense significance. It stands as a testament to Baler's strength being the last Spanish garrison to surrender to Filipino insurgents during the Philippine War of Independence. Not only is it a historical landmark, but it also symbolizes resilience and faith for the people of Baler. Nestled amidst lush greenery and surrounded by a serene atmosphere, this church embodies the enduring spirit of our community. Hi everyone, I'm Isa Denise Montesa de Leon from the birthplace of Philippine serving Baler Aurora. San Luis Obispo Church stand as a testament of Valer strength, being the last Spanish garrison. And I want to treasure our heritage by advocating sustainable tourism and cultural promotion. To protect and preserve our heritage that defines our identity and history. Thank you, Akao Valer! Balingasag Misamis Oriental. She is a second year college student taking up tourism management at Misamis Oriental Institute of Science and Technology. She is advocating for Echo Watch, Kamalayan sa Kalikasan, at Pangangalaga sa Likas Buhay. Through fostering environmental consciousness and championing animal welfare, she believes we can cultivate a more compassionate and sustainable world for generations to come. Maayong adlaw kaninyong tanan. I am Razo Joy Taytayernido. Proudly representing the metropolis town and known to be the Bangus capital of the realm, Balingasag Misamis Oriental, bringing the edifying story of our very own Vegas ancestral house and advocating for sustainable development. And I believe that if we unify together, we can make a difference. Let's make this happen. Daghang salamat! Feel her gentle touch. Sunlight, she was born to love, kiss our tears away, vanish all our fears. She has lived and witnessed what it means to lack food on the table. Looking back, she realized that yes, it was challenging, but a learning experience. This episode in her life did not break her, but it actually made her. Inspiring to distribute 274 meals to the homeless and growing her advocacy by harmonizing tourism, environment, and agriculture. 
it defines what she is prepared to push for, and that is the Luntiang Punla. Ala eh, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. I am Ira Patricia Malaluan from the home of the brave, the green industrial city of Batangas. Batangas are known for our ala eh charm, but Batangas City is a heritage, a heritage of bravery, sacrifices, and hope. And uh, coming from the heritage of bravery. And as the ambassadors of the Department of Agriculture for Planet, uh, for Plant Industry, I would like to push for my advocacy, which is Lunti Angkula, that ensures that we can feed hundreds of Filipino people without compromising our environment. And once again, I am your unstoppable queen from Batangas City. is from the highland paradise in the heart of Mindanao, which has the largest flower among reflicious species. Baungon Bukidnon, she advocates preserving nature through bamboo plant innovations, preservation, education, and the awareness in care and appreciation of the world's biggest flower, reflicia. Mahayad haaldo ta inyo alan. This is John C. Rich Canyere Azucena from the Municipality of Baongon, Province of Bukidnon. The heritage is a tribal history and a cultural identity of Baongon. To be Miss Philippines Earth is an advocate to preserving bamboo plant innovations. Maraming salamat po. community of Brandon, Florida. Introducing Victoria Johnson, a radiant beauty from Florida who reigns as the state's pageant queen. Her captivating presence, coupled with her genuine warmth and kindness, makes her a beloved ambassador for Florida's culture and hospitality. With a heart as bright as the sun and a spirit as vibrant as the state's flora, she embodies the essence of beauty and grace. Victoria Johnson and I am representing Florida. Embracing my heritage as a Filipina, I stand for natural preservation and sustainability. Let's paint the future green with passion and purpose and as we cherish our future and legacy. Thank you. Bulacan. 
This girl loves everything about arts and designing buildings. She finished her degree in Bachelor of Science in Architecture last year. And as a wanderer, she is excited to continue on learning and creating new experiences. With a goal to inspire and promote designing and building a sustainable mindset, she moved out of her comfort zone to join MPE 2024. Magandang buhay! I am Mary Joy C. Dairit, representing Bustos, Bulacan. In my town, we have a delicacy crafted to imitate Hispanic house ornaments and is only being served to rich people during the Spanish period and now being enjoyed and celebrated as Minasa Festival. Indeed, not just a work of art, but also a legacy from our history. 50% of our global carbon emissions comes from our built environment. And it is, it is only one to so many reasons why we cannot combat several environmental pollutants. Which is why I am advocating for design and build green, in which design stands for develop, ensure sustainable ideas for growth and nature. As crucial as it sounds, we can only be a responsible consumer of electricity and waste-producing products. Together, let us all design and build a sustainable mindset so that we can have a balanced existence of nature, human, and building. Thank you. City. Born into a family esteemed for its courage and determination to make an impact on the world, Marinol passionately advocates for solar energy adoption and awareness on their sustainable development goal number seven. Mabuhay Pilipinas, I'm Marinel M. Salvador, a 20-year-old Cabanatuanya, and I came from a place where you could actually feel and smell the love of the people through our famous delicacy, the Batutay Longganisa. I'm immensely proud and immensely inspired by the bravery of General Antonio Luna. I am also bravely advocating for solar energy adoption and awareness as I do believe that solar energy holds the key in elevating not only the lives of the Filipinos but also the lives of each and everyone in our world while also saving our earth. Thank you. Sol Pangasinan, in the depths of her soul and the core of her being, her fisherman father raised her, instilling the very essence of her existence and fueling her very own advocacy. Centered on marine conservation and sustainability, her passion finds expression through her advocacy called Ocean Impact. Isang, maka, is, isang luntiang araw, I'm Abigail Supilanas Cahegas from the home of Quality Salt and Vibrant Asin Festival, The Sol, Pangasinan. 
as a free diver and a volunteer advocate, um, cleaning up underwater, I saw the devastating effects of plastic pollution that kills our marine life. So come with me as I champion my initiative for sustainable and marine life preservation. Together, let's dive into action for a brighter, bluer future. She will save the earth and its every glory. She will teach her child every golden story. Representing Davao City is a public servant in City Engineer's Office of Davao City as a dedicated government employee and a volunteer teacher in Agdao Violent Institution since 2016. Davao City boasts a rich and diverse heritage that reflects its vibrant cultural tapestry from the indigenous colonization of Lumad people to the influences of Spanish, Japanese, an American colonization, the city's heritage sites offer a glimpse into its storied past. My name is Reka May Avila Bueva from the land of promise, Davao City. Davao City, a different culture, and we have 11 tribes in Davao City. Different heritage and diversity. The purpose to have a clean drainage system is to remove the unwanted water from the human environment. It is hugely important maintenance tasks that you need to perform in your home and in your community. We need to educate and advocate ourselves, not just for ourselves, but also to our environment and to our Mother Earth. Thank you. Esperanza Agusan del Sur. This delegate is a proud Agusanon lady who knows where to stand, when to speak, and what to do. Aside from being a beauty queen, she is a pencaxilat player from Agusan del Sur who rose to prominence by winning a silver medal in the regional athletic meet in 2017. Isang magandang magandang araw. I am Christine K. Bautista from the home of Golden Tara and Golden Opportunity, Esperanza Agusan del Sur. Esperanza is a heaven of unity, abundance, and hope. Not only we are rich in agro-industry, for we are known to be the tilapia capital of the province and rich in history tracing, the golden origin of the Golden Tara. Veve y veve, nuestra cultura. It means live and let live our culture. As an environmental activist for environmental awareness, for littering free advocacy, I will always cultivate, share, and encourage others to participate in this kind of activity because I believe that preservation is the best tea for a better nature and future. Thank you. Elegant City, 
21-year-old biology major hailing from the city of Waterfalls, Iligan, Christelle loves to travel and play sports as she is currently the captain of her college volleyball team, a DOST scholar, and is also a consistent academic achiever. Maayong adlaw ka natong tanan. I am Carissa Lancotas, 21, from the city of Majestic Waterfalls, Iligan. Today, I carry with me the pride of our city and our heritage, the beautiful and powerful Maria Cristina Falls. As a biology major and a woman of the earth, I am here and to carry on a mission to advocate for sustainable waste management through practices like upcycling and recycling that would lead to economic opportunities for our fellow Filipinos. Together, let's turn trash into treasure, one upcycled creation and empowered Filipino at a time. In the golden sunlight, she was born to love our tears away vanish all our fears fill the world with joy she's the woman of the earth spreading love and joy fun and laughter woman of the earth making Ilo Ilo City at the vibrant age of 26 this young professional stands as a purpose-driven woman who is dedicated to preserving agricultural heritage and empowering the stewards of our land, the farmers. In her capacity as a filmmaker, a cum laude graduate with a degree in broadcasting and a local organization co-founder, she is generally dedicated to her Dunang Mangad advocacy. Maayong Aga, this is Shaima Robles Alian Suri, representing the beautiful and vibrant city of love, Iloilo City. I take pride and I pay tribute to Iloilo's legacy of farming and gastronomic identity. As a filmmaker and an advocate of local farmers, I will use the power of short films as a medium to empower locals farmers and the community in environmental protection and heritage preservation. Woman of the earth, making miracles forever after. Loving, caring, working, sharing, teaching, singing, mothering. Loving, caring, working, sharing, teaching, singing. Once again, our first batch of ladies competing for the Miss Philippines Earth 2024. Chat. 
gentle touch in the golden sunlight she was born to love kiss our tears away oh wow is it just me or did it just get hotter now did you just feel it i guess because i am also with our miss philippines fire 2023, Sheree Laburi, and of course, thank you also for making this day a little bit hotter. Miss Philippines Ecotourism, Athena Auxilio, and again, that was the first batch of ladies competing for the Miss Philippines Earth 2024. Good day everyone. I'm so excited to be back and see some familiar faces and I also reminisce in a time where I literally fell for the excitement. Oh my god, same here Sheree. As I reminisce how beautiful our swimsuits were back then and how we were so excited to flaunt this stage. But best of all, I am thrilled to be reunited with my fellow Echo Queens. I've missed you all so much. It has been a wonderful year and I can't wait to meet our successors. That is right. And it's time to pass the baton to a new batch of Earth Warriors. The coronation, by the way, is only a few weeks from now. And for the first time, the grand event will be held in Talakag Bukidnon. Yes, this is another first in history for Miss Philippines Earth. Bukidnon is known for its stunning natural beauty and on May 11, we will add one more beauty to its list when we crown the new Miss Philippines Earth. To the people of Bukidnon watching the live stream, see you all soon. See you, Bukidnon, in just a few weeks. And of course, this undertaking would not have been a success without the hard work of the people behind Carousel Productions. And we'd like to take this moment to acknowledge them, of course. The President, Mr. Ramon Monzon, Executive President, Executive Vice President, none other than Ms. Lorraine Shook, and the Vice President and Project Director, Ms. Pichi Veneration. And we would also like to especially thank our environmental partners and advocates, Mayor Jose Antonio Villo from the Municipality of Sumilao, Mayor Aurelio Lopez from the Municipality of Libona, Mayor Rogelio Haraula from the Municipality of Baungon, Mayor Rogelio Kino from the Municipality of Manolo Forti. And now, back to the heart of today's media presentation. We continue our parade of beauties with the second batch of delegates of Miss, Miss Philippines Earth 2024. Listen to her voice. And here they are. Singing in the wind. Feel her gentle touch. In the golden sunlight. She was born to love. Kiss our tears away. Ipil Sambonga Subukai. Kate Camille Ferrero Pio Quinto. Kay Camille Ferropi Quinto is a licensed professional teacher, a deaf ed teacher, currently pursuing her master's degree in English language and teaching. She came from the municipality of Ipo, which is derived from a native tree, a very hardwood tree known for its resiliency that can be compared to Ipanios, who rose from the ashes after it was burned by Abu Sayyaf 29 years ago. Good morning to everyone. I am Kate Camille Ferrer Piaquinto, representing the municipality of Ipil, Zamboanga, Sibugay. We Ipilenos are known to be resilient. Her rose from the ashes after it was burned by the lawless element 29 years ago. We are just like an Ipil tree also known as Leucaina leucozephala, a native in a hardwood tree, which is a heritage from our forefathers that was derived from the municipality of Ipil, or us Ipilenos, 
That is why we are born with a resilient mind, heart, and soul. And I am an eco-warrior for strengthening reforestation and eradicating deforestation. Because I believe that simply planting of saplings and tree growing, you are creating a massive impact in protecting and preserving Mother Nature. As a teacher by profession, I will teach and call on to everybody to help save and conserve Mother Earth. Thank you so much. Nueva Ecija is a 23-year-old flight attendant who is now in pursuit of setting her wings in another designation, which is pageantry. As the representative of the Rise Garnari of the Philippines, Nueva Ecija, specifically the municipality of Lupao, she is advocating for a movement of eco-consciousness through community engagement, which is called Rise Cycle. I hope that everybody is doing well despite of the heat. I am Rin Rin Rances Raz, representing the municipality of Lupao from the Rice Granary of the Philippines, Nueva Ecija. Heartstrings of heritage, weaving identity with love, because love weaves it all. Love for creation, love for your passion, and love for oneself. What our generation needs today is to become stewards of change. And I stand here in Miss Philippines Earth to cultivate eco-consciousness through community engagement because I know that we are currently affected by the 24% of the 61,000 million metric tons of waste we garner every day, which is actually plastic pollution. With this, I made Rice Cycle. Isang kilong plastic para sa isang kilong bigas movement. Through this, we feed, we make people smile, and we hone for a greener tomorrow. Thank you. In a lush flower, watch your dreams take away. Over skies so blue, she will say. City, Sam Samara is an earth warrior, an advocate of the reduction of the danger and damage of flooding. She is eager to invest her time and efforts to seek new ways to address this issue by researching and creating innovative solutions that can help Mother Earth and save lives. It is crucial to prioritize investments in eco-friendly infrastructure and sustainable land use planning to prevent and minimize the devastating impacts of flooding on communities and the environment. Good morning everyone, my name is Sam Samara, representing Makati City. Makati City, renowned as the financial and business center of the Philippines. Known for its rich heritage that's blending both Filipino culture as well as urban development. As an earth warrior and a woman of the earth as well, my advocacy is about flooding mitigation. I'm always seeking new, innovative, sustainable solutions that can also help Mother Earth. And as I am taking my master's degree in urban planning, I prioritize land use planning, 
and work hand in hand with our architects and engineers as well as our local scientists to address this issue in a different approach. With a combination with everything, I believe that we will not only be able to help Mother Earth, but also save lives. Thank you. Feel her gentle touch in the golden sunlight. She was born to love. Kiss our tears away. Vanish all our fears. Fill the world with joy. Manai Dava Oriental. She is a tourism student and an ambassador of their university. An independent woman with indigenous roots, a proud Mandaya woman. She's an advocate of Turismo Atong Handumanan, or Tourism is Our Token, wherein it focuses on protecting and preservation of tourist spot gems. Mabuhay ug madayaw. This is Kian Marie A. Rosales from the municipality of Waumanay, province of Davao Oriental. Did you know that Mandaya people are from the ancestors of Bagani? That is why I am a Mandaya woman and I am proud of strong and a warrior. Turismo atong handumanan. Or should I say, tourism is our token which focuses on preservation and protecting of our tourist spot gems. If we able to practice this, we can achieve an environmental sustainability. Maramag Bukid Non, Mary Joan Capoyan Fuentes. From the municipality of Maramag, province of Bukid Non, is a third year BSHE education student at Central Mindanao University. She's an advocate of eco agriculture tourism and an advocacy to promote sustainability in agrotourism while highlighting the role of culture to Mother Earth. Maayad haal daw te inyo alan. I come from the province of Bukidnon. And from the heart of the province of Bukidnon comes Maanyag Maramag. I uphold eco agricultural tourism. And my heart beats with the fiery passion of the seven tribes of Bukidnon, where birds fly above the majestic mountains. I am Mary Joanne Capuyan Fuentes. Make Bukidnon known. Make Maramag more. Maanyan. She was born to love. Kiss our tears away. Vanish all our fears. Fill the world with joy. Matanao Davao del Sur. Being a woman from Mindanao, an athlete, 
a teacher, and a military reservist, she always placed a high priority on hard effort in everything she does to educate the rest of the world about Mindanao's legacy, particularly the hidden treasures in the municipality of Matanao, province of the Davao del Sur. Ira Mel Inutan Alfeche from Municipality of Matanao, Province of Davao del Sur. Flipa Flus, a greetings from our Blaan tribe, which means good morning. They are our heritage, the heart and soul of Matanao. Eat Green, Live Green program that focuses more on home gardening that is very relevant and sustainable in today's generation. For I firmly believe that we must eat what we grow and grow what we eat. Wow! Matanao no mata home. Samias Oriental. She graduated with a degree in financial management and now a licensed financial advisor and a breadwinner supporting her mom and sisters. As a tourism ambassadress of the municipality of Opal, she advocates for sustainable communities as an indispensable asset in promoting sustainable tourism, which involves promoting practices that prioritize environmental stewardship, social equity, and economic resilience. Maayong buntag, or should I say, magandang umaga, Pilipinas! I am Gwen Marie Perion from the municipality that celebrates Kabaya Festival, Opol Misamis Oriental. Kabaya Festival is a tribute to the Higaonon tribe. Kabaya means kalipay or happiness because we Opolanons are malipayon preserving the rich tapestry of the Higaonon culture, a bridge between tradition and modernity in Opal. And as someone working in the tourism department, I stand here because I believe that promoting sustainable communities nurture not only our tourism and culture, but the very essence of our shared future in this planet. Pasig City, a psychology student, combines her love for exploration with her passion for environmental and cultural preservation. Alongside her academic pursuits, she finds joy in painting and dancing, enriching her life with creativity and expression. Through her LEAF program, live, engage, and act for our future. Sayang tanghali sa inyong lahat mula sa lungsod ng Pasig umaagos ang pag-asa Kathleen Santiago Manila's first highway a river that reflects grace under any circumstances Amutya who safeguards environment that evokes serenity and peace and that river is Ilog Pasig. 
It is every Filipino's heritage, progressive, noble, and hope. These are the attributes that we Pasigeno embodies. Through medium of culture and arts, this will uplift consistency on environmental and cultural preservation. And this will raise my LIFT program that stands for LIVE, Engage and Act for Our Future. While she pursues her dreams in beauty pageants, she's also fervently advocating for the preservation of Pasay City's water springs, the lifeblood of our community. Pasay City, known for its pineapple plantations, is also blessed with abundant water springs, a precious part of our heritage. Resources, one of which is the water springs. And as the steward of the earth, I hold this goal in my heart to protect, preserve, and provide awareness to every individual about the importance of safeguarding our water springs. In a blush flower, watch your dreams take wings over skies so blue. Rome, Italy, an advocate of sustainable environment by promoting the goal and the benefits of Green City. She has been working together with a non-government organization that act actively initiates projects that addresses environmental challenges. She was born and raised in Italy, but is a Filipina by heart and by blood. with a strong faith and journalistic aspirations, actively participates in various socio-civic and religious organizations such as SSG, UFRA, Pingog, 
and Project Liha. Maayong Adlaw! Ako si Feliz Clarianthea Solomon Resantes from the Coastal Municipality of Zamboanga del Norte, Sindangan. My home offers the various presents of natural, resu natural resources, cultural heritage, and the presence of the various Sindanganans who are being conscious of the environment that we are facing today, especially the climate change. Engaging with the community, empathizing with the people, and empowering leadership, not just in school, but also in the municipality, EcoClick tap into EcoAction. Mo kini ang akong advokasya, kini ang atong laban para sa kinaiyahan, para sa kalibutan. That, that was Sindangan Zamwanga del Sur. Sindangan Zamwanga del Norte. Santo Nino, South Cotabato. She's a 20-year-old working student studying business administration and majoring in marketing. She loves to do physical activities, reading books, cooking, baking, reading, helping her community, and most of all, she loves her family so much. Hello, hi, Mabuhay! I am Bethany Agualo, 20, proudly representing from the land of Dream Neighbors, South Cotabato! Santo Nino is known for Rice Bowl of the South, and I'm proudly to say that I am a working student who is advocating for harishing advancement for environment protection, sustainability, and diversity. Thank you. Sambuanga Sibugay. Bisaya Ilokan, Tita Yanon, and Isibugay Yanon, who grew up in the diverse and modernized influence of the tri people culture of her province. Her upbringing as a child of a family of farmers had her invested in the beauty of growing and nurturing and its relevance to the economy and the lifestyle of the community. My name is Kia Donghi Labiano, 23, from the province of productivity and youngness. Titay Zamboanga Sibugay. I am from a family and town of farmers. Our ancestors planted trees that we today harvest fruits from. Our, our generation of our generation of grandparents have also toiled sand and also toiled soil to uh, plant crops and produ produce. Today, I dream 
to pass on this heritage of agriculture to the next generation. Let's agree to agri. Zamwanga City. She is a business administration student, small businesses entrepreneur. She thrives on innovation and sustainability, channeling her passion for environmental advocacy as an ambassador for a greener future through my Be Green Life initiative, emphasizing waste management segregation. Buenos dias, conos todos ustedes. Or should I say good day to everyone? I am Ansha Lichelle Jones from the Sardines, capital of the Philippines, city of flowers, and the Asia's Latin city, Zamboanga City. Growing up in Zamboanga City, I have experienced a beautiful blend of culture where everyone is respected, welcomed, and celebrated, especially during the times of Zamboanga Hermosa Festival, which is held every October of the year. Yet, I witnessed a lot of devastating impact of calamities and floods in our city. And it was a wake-up call for an urgent need of action for our environment. But in Be Green Life, I am all about telling people the stories that matter. Because I only have a simple goal. It is to educate, to inform, and to make a positive action, not only to the Philippines, but all around the planet Earth. Dahil ang pagbabago, ay magsisimula sa atin mga tao. Muchisimas gracias or thank you. She will teach her child every golden story. She's the woman of the earth spreading love and joy fun and laughter woman of the earth making miracles forever after woman of Welcome back our second batch of delegates of the Miss Philippines Earth 2024. And may we remind our media friends to kindly submit your ballots at the registration area. Once again, may we remind our media friends to kindly submit your ballots at the registration area. And now, please welcome all the delegates of the Miss Philippines Earth 2024. Let us all give a round of applause as we welcome them back. Listen to 
Janssen Cosmetics Surgery Stem Cell Asia, Modern Glow, The Future of Skin Care Now, Cosmed Aesthetic Clinic, Light Skin Philippines, Ang Manok ni Sir Pedro, Miss Earth Foundation, Kitty Co. Travel and Tours, Philippines Department of Tourism, Lime Hotel and Resorts Manila, Lime Beach Club as our venue today. And while we're waiting for the results of this year's Darling of the Media and the Top 10 HANA Beauties, as I've mentioned earlier, we have a very special announcement. And Carrie, are you ready to announce it to our media friends and to everyone who's watching here today? Not just yet. I'm sure all of you watched the finals of Miss Earth 2023 online. But not everyone was able to fly to Hongqing Min City to witness the event and meet the winners, except for Eliana, of course. That's why Carousel Production is bringing Miss Earth 2023, Drita Ziri, and her element court in the Philippines. You heard it right. Miss Earth 2023 and her court will be arriving in the first week of May. And there will be a media con on Tuesday, May 7, 3 p.m. at Brittany Hotel, Villar City in Cavite. The media con is partnership with Pro Media. And you know, we've been holding back this secret for quite a while and now I'm ultimately happy that now everyone is aware of it and everyone will surely be excited for it. So mark your calendars and let's all get ready to roll out the red carpet for Miss Earth, Miss Earth Fire, Miss Earth Water 2023 and of course, nandyan din po ako, your Miss Earth Air 2023. In the golden this is your chance to finally meet the Miss Earth 2023 winners in the flesh, and we hope to see you there. From these 10 beautiful ladies, one will be giving the Miss Hannah Award during the coronation night. Based on the delegate's performance, her environmental advocacy, her effortless beauty, as well as voting Viva social media. And to award the top 10 HANA beauties, we have here Mr. Kaloy Bakani, Marketing Director of Peerless Products Manufacturing Corporation, makers of HANA Shampoo, and in no particular order, the top 10 HANA beauties are the following. Again, in no particular order, we have here the first Hannah Beauty from Titay Zamboanga Sibugay. Oriental Mindoro. Yes, 
you may now take the stage as you are part of Top 10 Hannah Beauties in Ligan City. Listen to her voice singing in the wind. Feel her gentle touch in the golden sunlight. She was born to love. Kiss our tears away. Vanish all our fears. Next stop is Batanga City. Congratulations, Sindangan Zamboanga del Norte. Congratulations, Hannah Beauty from Baungon, Bukidnon! Congratulations, Makati City! Another Hannah Beauty is from the Filipino community of Rome, Italy. Our last but not the least, Zimbonga City. Again, congratulations to our top 10 Hannah Beauties and to the rest of the girls. Congratulations as well for doing such a great job for today's press presentation. And now this second part of the awarding really makes me want to look back on our press presentation last year when I won the Darling of the Press Award. And now it's time to reveal... And now it's time to reveal the top three delegates picked by our media friends to be this year's Darlings of the Media. And now we start with the bronze medalist. Our bronze medalist will be awarded 
by Miss Edge Tenoria, head admin of Pageantology 101. Our bronze medalist from Opal Misamis Oriental. Congratulations! Our silver medalist will be awarded by Mr. Bullet Marquez of Vera Files, multi-awarded foreign photojournalist. For silver, it's Filipino Community Rome, Italy. And now, it's about time to pass on the Darling of the Media Award to our 2024 Miss Philippines Earth Delegate for today. And with that, let us call on Miss Anna Cerezo, TV Patrol Lifestyle and Entertainment Reporter, to award our gold medalist and the Darling of the Media for today. Our gold medalist and the darling of the press is from Batanga City! Congratulations to our top 10 Hannah Beauties and of course to our three darlings of the press of today's presentation and good luck to every one of you and that brings today's media presentation to a close and again thank you very much for sharing your Wednesday morning with us don't forget to check out Miss Philippines Earth official social media platforms to get the latest update and be sure to join us on May 11 for the Grand Coronation. Stream live from Talakad Bukit Non, the heartland of Mindanao, via Facebook and YouTube with Telecast on ATZ channel on May 12. Again, on behalf of my elemental queens, Carrie, Sheree, 
Jemima, and Athena. This has been Eliana Marie Aduana, your Miss Earth Air 2023. Maraming maraming salamat po at isang makakalikasang araw po. Oh!